In one of our special Eucharistic prayers that may ask we pray, may your church stand as a living witness to truth and freedom, to justice and peace, and all people may be raised up to a new hope. Today the church celebrates the feast of St. Peter and Paul, both martyrs of the church, Peter the great leader of the early church, and Paul its great preacher. And they were, throughout their life, they were constantly persecuted and eventually put to death for trying to be witnesses again to truth and freedom, to God's kingdom of justice and peace. Today we continue that struggle against the evil powers of this world to be that kind of a witness. In today's gospel, Jesus establishes the church on Peter. He says, Peter, on this rock I will build my church, and the gates of another world shall not prevail against it. In other words, the church will triumph in its witness. It will bring about the kingdom of God's justice and peace. Today's second reading, Paul's letter to Timothy, Paul writes about he had already raced, ran the good race, and now a, a, a merit or crown was waiting for him in heaven. We too must continue running that race, the race of again bearing witness to truth and freedom, to justice and peace knowing that the gates of another world will not prevail against us.